What's up, guys? Um, as well, yeah. We're gonna do a tutorial on how to download Minecraft mods. So, first things first, you gotta download WinRAR. It's a program that uses to open your R files. Pretty, pretty good. And you just download it. Pretty easy. Uh, nothing, you know, no, the download isn't something special. Pretty fast. And so, you get that done, and you download that. Set it to your default for opening R files, unless you have 7-zip, but I don't like that. Then, you need to go to a website to download Minecraft mods. I use this website, minecraftdl.com. It's pretty good, a lot of ads, but you can put some pretty cool mods, and they update it very fast, very regularly. They got really good ones, you know, and you never run out. And so I'm gonna show you how to download one, and that's gonna be Mod Loader, simple one. What it does is it manages other mods. You can have multiple mods without anything happening. Um, pretty simple. Download it takes you to AdFi. Yeah, yeah. Download it, and when you download it, if you set it to default. It should open something like this. So right now, you don't need to worry about this right now. What you need to do is go to the start, type in percent app data percent enter, and you get to roaming. Now from here, what the heck? All right. So from here, you go to dot Minecraft bin. Then you want to go to this last one down here, Minecraft. Double click. Yeah, I should open this thing. Yeah, whatever. Okay. And I already have one open, sorry about that. But it should look something like this. What you do is you get mod loader right here. Control A, highlight it all. Control click. Don't wanna do this dot dot this dot dot thing. It's probably not that good. You just drag it to this one. Okay. Uh yeah, pretty fast. It's the bigger the mod, the longer it takes. Then you want to delete meta inf. I don't really know what it does, but if you have it on, the it won't work. So you just press the delete button, enter. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, okay, I got that deleted. Now it shouldn't be here anymore. I got that. You have to close this. It's really important that you close this or else it won't work. This one, you can leave it open in case it doesn't work so you don't have to open it up again. This one, not important. Then, I want to go to your Minecraft. Go over here, 1.25, yeah. You. Then, what you do is you log in and it comes like it, you have it. Experiment with it, whatever you want to do. But the thing is, sometimes if you do it, you get a black screen and you can't do anything or your minecraft keeps crashing so if something bad happens with the mod like it's not compatible with other ones you press options force update see there's the location where it's at done then when you log on it will update your minecraft pretty much replace the dot minecraft and your saves and everything will still be there and it takes away all mods and it's pretty good if you know, you just want to get another mod, or so you get a black screen. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it, and you better check out the Farlands. All right, see you guys. Oh, and if you guys subscribe, I might start doing Let's Plays, and I was thinking doing Skyrim and Saints Row and stuff. So maybe even Minecraft Let's Plays. But that's it. So adios, guys. And I like pie. Wadding?